Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastricated Painting. Today we're going to continue our journey through the Blackstone Fortress and paint the big robot and the little robots. Yep. So we will spray this bad boy down with aluminum by Rust-Oleum, which is a, it's the cheapest spray I can get. Um, I try not to spend too much money on sprays. And we will take a homemade black wash and we will put this over the entire miniature. Now, because of how smooth the spray uh, aluminum is, we will have to go through and really work it in and then go through as well and suck up uh, with our brush some of the excess. It will pool and move around a lot. We're going to jump to Pterodon Turquoise by Contrast Paint Citadel and we're going to put it over the entire miniature except for uh, the gun barrel. We're going to leave that silver. Then my lovely wife bought me some dazzling metallics, ice blue. Um, sometimes she goes to the store and she just brings me stuff. It's pretty nice. And we are going to dry brush the entire miniature with it. And we're going to take gunmetal from the army painter and we are going to just pick out some of the details here. Uh, little tiny bits because we're also going to go through and repaint a lot of these. Next we'll take Sun Yellow Hot Orange and Escorpina Green. Escorpina Green? I don't know. And we're just going to go through and pick out some of the details randomly with these colors. Just add some variation. Next we're going to take some Nasdrag yellow and we're going to put this on some of the bits that we made silver. We're also going to take some Fire Slayer flesh from Contrast and throw this over some of the other metal. Now here's something I haven't done yet, uh, decals. So I'm going to take my decal, I'm going to put it on a damp paper towel and I'm going to put some more water on it and then eventually I'm going to use my brush and some tweezers to slide it off. That's as hard as it gets. And then I'm just going to tamp it down a little bit and dry it off. That's how you do decals. I don't think it really needs to be much harder than that. Then I'm going to take some watered down Gravelord Grey and I'm just going to go over these silver bits. And like I've done in a bunch of my other videos, I'm going to take some Arctic White and on some of those uh, colors I painted in, I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight. I will then switch over to the drones. I'm going to do a white spray, a black wash, and then a dry brush of white. Same thing we're going to be doing for all of the Blackstone Fortress guys. Then I'm going to hop to Griff Charger Gray, and I'm going to do the uh, tops of the miniature. I'm going to move to Gravelord Gray, and I'm going to do all the legs and lower part. I'm going to move on to Hex Lichen. I love Hex Lichen! And I'm going to do just the center eye. Then I'm going to move on to Sick Green and I'm going to put these on the legs. There's 
these little nubs here on the legs. I'm going to switch to blood red and some of them have a, a couple cords hanging down here and I'm just going to slam that on there. And second verse, same as the first, we're going to take that arctic white and we're just going to dot in some little highlights there. And the basing the same way we've been doing all the bases for Blackstone figures and these guys are done. They turned out pretty cool. Um, lately I've been all about dirty robots. I don't know why. I don't want... I did the Ambot robots and they came out really clean. I wanted these guys to be very gritty, dirty. I could probably take the weathering uh, a lot farther, but um, lately it's I, I've been painting more about character and less about uh, preciseness. And even these little drones turned out cool. Um, really easy, quick paint job. There's only four in a box. Um, they're gonna get shot off the board and blown up pretty quick and just wanted to get them done fast. And I mean, m make them look good still. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, these guys were fun to paint, rather easy. Um, is I, I really hope that some people that are hoping or thinking about getting the hobby further can see some of the value in spending a little bit of money to get um, some of these products that's just gonna make their painting easier. After you've gone through all this stuff and you've learned, you can go watch the other channels um, and some of those guys like uh, Midwinter Mer Minis or um, uh, Vince Venturella, he has the channel Hobby Cheating. Um, those guys know how to paint really well. Uh, Ninjon, uh, Miniac, they're amazing painters. I am a painter and I just want to help people get into the hobby, make it a little bit easier. If you can see that I can do it, and I'm clearly a moron, then you can do it too. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Ooh, razzle dazzle metallics. Dazzling finish. I'm tired.